We will get you out of here well before the top of the hour. Give you guys enough time to get those bets in for the primetime games. And that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's Denver Life Free Sports Picks for games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later. And to deliver those winners, our professional handicappers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Play. So let's take a peek at who's on the show with us for today. With us is Big Alex Morty, Alex Smart, Tony Brown, got Shane Mickle, got Wayne Scott, and Mills Young. Here's how they'll line up for this evening. Uh, Smart, McMorty, Mickle, Brown, Young, Scott, then I will close this one out. Really, you know, a few games on the board tonight from the NBA. Also, action on the ice. Uh, got the NIT final as well. Uh, one, one game in prime, a couple games in prime time for Major League Baseball. So let's get the show underway. Let's go ahead and welcome in Alex Smart. You'll catch him over at Pick Dogs Premium. We'll bring Alex in right now with some NHL coverage on this card tonight. Alex, what's happening? How you doing, Tony? We're going to go after some hockey tonight. We're going to go after... Uh... A key game between uh, Carolina and Boston. Um, it's been almost a year since Boston came into Carolina, but the last time they were here, they uh, defeated them. And I think because this is the tail end of a um, six-game road trip for Boston, I think the lines makers are sort of betting on maybe a down performance or a tired performance. But Boston's a one of the most well-conditioned hockey teams in the NHL. Hard-working, full full 60 minute type hockey team just they they never give up no matter what and there is one key for me tonight and that is Ulmark uh, is on fire right now he's one of the streakiest goalies in the NHL I mean when he's hot he's hot uh, off a three nothing win over the Predators last time out so tonight uh, I'm gonna say that the Bruins are gonna have enough juice in the tank to uh, keep this close keep to keep this game close all the way Ulmark uh, being the difference maker and uh, somewhere a late goal makes a difference tonight. And it's just this this line still at plus 40 that I'm getting right now anyway. Uh, just There's just too much value here attached to it, in my opinion, in a game that's uh, pretty well, I think, going to go down to the wire. It's interesting to note also from, uh, from an ATS perspective, but, of course, this has to do with, uh, with um, how will I say it, it has to do with a money line advantage. And Boston has cast 17 of their last 18 ATS in road games after allowing one goal or less, shut out last time, and then over the previous two seasons. And But what the difference maker is, it's close to a two-goal difference here. So, you know, plus two goals, 17-1 ATS, money line looks good on the value here. And uh, Bruins, Bruins take it. Bruins shock us and take an underdog win. It's not a shock, I guess. But we'll take I like that. Alex here on the Bruins here, plus 135 against the Hurricanes. And we've talked about this in the past, and I think it really works on teams late in the season. One thing I've noticed with this Carolina schedule, you probably know where I'm coming from back with the past discussions about these type of topics, is how many one-game homestands they've had here. They've had one, two, three one-game homestands, which is, to me, a pain in the behind for these athletes having to unpack, repack. Sometimes when, you're, when you have these one-game homestands, they feel like a road game, right? Because you come in, you play, then you go back on the road. So they've been doing this a lot in the month of March. Yeah, and it's late in the season. And I mean, I mean, there are, you know, and I I do have issues with Carolina sometimes. I mean, you wouldn't have noticed over the last two games. They shut down Detroit and Montreal. But, uh, you know, in that game in Pittsburgh, they looked asleep at the wheel. So, you know, and that was off uh, first being away and then home and then away again in Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, this is going to be interesting. It's not going to be an easy game for them. And like I said, there's just too much value attached to this. And no matter what the trends say, you know, Carolina has won six of the last seven games. So what? I'm just going to throw that in the garbage for you. Uh, in the series and uh yeah I'm, i just like the value all right and here the value there on the bruins here for alex up plus 135 against the hurricanes this one tonight 7 p.m eastern time all right alex let's go over at pick dog for tonight's action of course that we have action here from the nba also action on the isa and it in action alex enjoying a great uh 2024 this year 3667 units of private all sports combined verify that over at pick dog stream all right alex what do you have going on over the site uh, tonight we have uh, that NIT championship game. I have the total on that one. Uh, really been doing well with my totals over the last couple of seasons. We're in the well over 200 selection, 61% conversion, 41K plus and dime player profits, my dime player profits uh, for my clients. And uh, we have uh, an NBA three pack tonight and uh, been up and down with the NBA here late in the season, but uh, still on a pretty good run, 57% over my last 130 selections. So you know what? We're going to roll into the playoffs. Historically, this has always been my, uh, you know, historically. I'm, I'm not promising anything here, but it's always been my most profitable part of my campaign, my uh, NBA campaign. So 
let's rock and roll, uh, get a long-term package, and like let's make some money right into the playoffs. And of course, we'll have NHL action, and uh, I'm going to have both selections from uh, this weekend's uh, NCAA uh, Final Four. That's right, guys. I get on board here with Alex Mark over at Pink Dog Premium. You see the great results that he's put together here, man. It's been an impressive year uh, in, for the, for the, for 2024. Now, no better time now to get on board with the long-term pass. Remember, the the one-month All Sports Pass will get you the main of the NCAA tournament, as well as uh, the NBA, which will get you into the first round of the NBA playoffs, as well as NHL playoffs. Uh, no better time to get on board right now with the long-term pass promo code PICK at checkout will save you that 15% off. You can also add multi-cappers with that multi-capper promotion even greater value there. All right, Alex, is always uh, great having your show. Continue that great success. We'll catch up with you next week, but we always see you popping in on some of those weekend shows. Yeah, those weekend shows are long, and I, I, I really enjoy them, the back and forth. Uh, but, you know, at this time of year, sometimes it's hard for me to get in, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll be around this weekend, but I'll, I'll be back for sure. Absolutely, guys. So check sure you like, subscribe to the notifications, so when uh, you see Alex on those shows, you get his pecs. Sorry, right, Alex, have a great night. We'll catch up with you again next week. Hey, Tony. Have a great weekend, buddy. See you. Yeah. Alex Smart here on The Drive. We'll continue here, guys. One of our newest features, our chat pick of the day. So we're going to ask to chat this game that's not covered on the show tonight. 76ers and the Heat going head-to-head -head here. And it's not, and obviously you can see there's a typo there. So let me go ahead and fix this here. It will be the 76ers plus three and a half is going to be A. So let me get hit that. Let me get that corrected here before we get any farther than this. We're going to get some wrong votes in here if I don't. So let's see, I put, yeah, I'm going to make, it's going to be the Sixers at uh, plus uh, plus three and a half. That's going to be letter A. Letter B is going to be the Heat minus the two and a half. That will be letter, that will be letter B here. So let me get that corrected here and we'll continue here in just a second. Just want to get this right here. Heat minus three and a half is going to be letter B. So let me get that done here. So we got that fixed. All right, here we go. Let's, let's reboot this one here. Here we go. So if you like the Sixers plus three and a half, it's letter A, Heat plus three, minus three and a half is letter B, over 209 is letter C, under 209 is letter D. So get those picks in there right now and let's get it, get those uh, votes in for this chat pick of the day. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. Let's go ahead and welcome in Big Guy McMorty. You'll catch him over at Pick Dogs Premium. Has uh, coverage tonight on a ninth pretty good NBA game tonight. Uh, Rockets and the Warriors, we'll bring him right now. Out, Big Al, how's it going? Pretty good. Um, today will be better than yesterday. Yesterday I was about as off target as you could be i had the milwaukee bucks that lost outright and then i had the edmonton oilers and they lose five nothing so the only solace for me was the games were not close i suppose yeah that's that uh, was a rough one but what's nice a new night so we'll get look at the games tonight here as warriors and rockets go head to head in a high profile one tonight uh, it would have been nice if the rockets would have won the, of a game or two of late but anyway warriors three and a half no, on the road no, no, no. maybe not right i i i, I, miss, I miss i miss what you said about the rockets I said, yeah, it would have been nicer for the, you know, for the playoff uh, drama if they had won the last, last two games. But that, that might have oh, impacted sure. the pick here. But anyway, uh, Warriors three and a half on the road, total two twenty eight. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's still a critical game, Tony, for both teams. The Warriors are two games behind the Lakers in the race for the number nine seed, and Houston three games behind Golden State in the more important race for the number ten seed. And I like Houston as a home underdog uh, tonight. Uh, the Warriors, they're they are pretty soft, 10 and 23 ATS as a single digit road favorite off a of Suets win if they were playing a revenge-minded team. Of course, Houston is a revenge-minded team. They've lost 12 in a row uh, to the Warriors, but most of those losses were, you know, when Houston was a horrible team, they're a lot better this season. And dominant at 127 and 10 ATS the last 37 uh, at the Toyota Center. I can't see any reason to go against Houston here, given the stakes. I'm going to take the three and a half or four points. All right, uh, Big Al is going to go ahead and take the three and a half, four points here with the Rockets here against these Golden State Warriors in this spot here. We'll see how uh, you know what, how this one rolls here. It's a home game, as you said, for the Rockets, and that's where they've been really defending well. Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I, I didn't look, but they, they may have the best home ATS record in the league this season, so... And it's hard to go against Houston at home. Yeah, even without their big guy Singoon out, they just seem to have been able to still manage to, to actually gain ground <laughs> in this playoff race. Yeah, that's uh, they've played well without them. You know, not lately, but uh, last couple of games, but they've played well. Interesting. We'll talk a little. 
a question here about the change in landscape in sports. We've kind of seen a rise. Maybe it's just a once, once you know, just a one-off here with this women's basketball. Do you see any? You see what impact this will have in WNBA betting uh, coming up this season? We're seeing a couple of superstars enter the, the professional ranks. I think it can only help. Are you going to? Do you give out the WNBA picks yourself? I don't give out myself, but I know some cappers do. And, uh, many yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it sells. I don't handicap it myself, but I know other guys who do, and they, they do quite well uh, with WNBA. You know, over in, in the summer months, the WNBA would always sell better than Canadian Football League. It would sell better than, um, you know, a lot of the uh, other uh, sports. So I don't know. I think, I th I think there's going to be interest definitely with Caitlin Clark. Yeah, Clark coming and Reese coming in as well. And uh, now if you were to do, do, do you have the ability to put together a database of going back with some past yes. history? You do? <laughs> no, you know, that would just take a lot of data entry. I don't, right. you know, I'm getting up there in age. I don't know if I want to necessarily, you know, put in that kind of work. Um, it would, I mean, you know, maybe I will. But it would take me a whole summer to input all that data, you know, for years. Right. So. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot, a lot of work, no doubt, and a lot of work there. And I know uh, that, that that would be really, really time consuming. Just a, just a thought here that uh, it's either, you know, these stars are either going to go into obscurity in the WNBA or the stars will rise. It's, it's interesting to see how, what, what happens here with this transition. Because, of course, again, we, we saw the ratings, right? We saw the rating on that one off game. Might have just been a one off game, but we've got some, you know, big matchups coming up here in the women's side, too. Yeah, no, I, I missed this. I missed the interview. I just saw the tail end of it with Nancy Lieberman the other day, but she was talking. I guess the, the focus of the interview was um, whether or not Caitlin Clark would play in the big three league with the, with the men. Has, have people been talking about that? Yeah, Ice-T has this multi-million dollar offer to her to do it. So uh, okay. maybe 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 he was able to recruit his television partners. Because I know this the league is aired on Fox and I believe also CBS. So maybe he worked with his television partners to say, "Hey, let's get this, let's get some money in it, and maybe get our contract for." Her. So uh, uh, that's out there also on the t on the table. Uh, that that was that was uh, released by Ice T himself. Yeah, Lieberman was pushing for that. She she thought it would be a good move for Clark to play with the men because it would just um, you know give her even more you know respect and credibility. She would have definitely an age advantage because that's where the right, you know, the retirement players, that's where they end up. <laughs> the big three, it's got like a Bobby Riggs, Billie Jean King situation again. <laughs> oh, but no, except the men, the men would take it a lot seriously. You know, obviously, uh, there would be a lot, they, 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 would, they, they would no doubt. Uh, but the question will be, can she take, get her shot off against, you know, some of the taller men out there? But again, we'll see what the league yeah. is. Ice yeah. Cube, not no, Ice Cube, that's right. Ice Cube is the guy. I, got, I always mix them up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, interesting to see how the sport. You know, you know, you, you know, you know more about the celebrities than I do. I, oh goodness! I, yeah, I know. thought I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's good. Yeah, Ice Cube is the one with the big three. I, I always get those two mixed. Anyway, Big Al here on the Rockets tonight, uh, plus three and a half. I thought this would make one of the big networks, but <laughs> it didn't, as you can tell. All right, Big Al, let's take a look over at Pick Doctrine for tonight's action. Of course, uh, NBA is on the board tonight, action on the ice as well. Uh, NIT finals, and as well as a, a couple of baseball games still set to go here. Big Al enjoying great results here in NBA college hoops combined. Also, nearly 500 news of Providence NHL, so he's been on a tear right now with all the major sports. What do you have going on over at Pick Dogs Premium? I've just got one play. I've got a, a huge play in the NIT uh, tournament tonight. I won both semifinal games. I had Seton Hall and Indiana State on Tuesday, and I love this matchup as well. Passing in the NBA, um, you know, after getting my butt kicked last night with Milwaukee, I decided to take, you know, tonight off the NBA. I didn't really like anything. Um, you know, I thought probably the best play was this Houston uh, plus the four, but nothing great in the NBA tonight. Dan. I'll be back in action in the NBA tomorrow. It's a huge card tomorrow. And then I already have posted a winner for the um, Final Four on Saturday. Uh, for the season now, 436 and 339 with 12 pushes and hoops. So it's been another good year. And over the last three and a half seasons, up 193.76 net games uh, after the juice. So we'll keep it going. We'll bounce back um, and win tonight and hopefully also win on Saturday. That's right, guys. Got over at Pick Dogs. We see great results here in hoops. Out of another 500 units of profit there. 
in the uh, into the uh, NHL as well. So it's been great work from Big Al. And of course, Big Al for those big betters you have, Big Al's all access. Yeah, if uh, folks want to get in touch, just text Big Al and seven five six three six seven six seven six. Uh, you get all of our plays. You also get additional plays that aren't on the premium site, and you can uh, ask me about any game you want. It's all access 24-7. So if it's 10 p.m. at night and you you want to bet on the game and you're sitting around on, you know, uh, you can call me, email me, text me, and I'll let you know what I think about any game of your choice. That's right, guys. Make the call or text. Get on board if it's within your price range for Big Al's All Access. All right, Big Al's always great having a show. Continue that great success. We'll catch up with you again here next week. But we can always catch your work here with your All Access video series and, of course, your, your appearances on the weekend shows. Yeah, um, hopefully I'll see you on Saturday on the round table. And when, you and I should go out to Santa Anita, Tony. We're we both should. In the area. Yeah, we should. We should. Get, we we, we, we got to make a date. We got to find a day that we, we don't work. <laughs> All right, right, right. Because I think you had a trip. We're supposed to the Breeders' Cup, and you had to go up back east for something. I think you wanted to see Wembanyama. You had some tickets for the Knicks, I think. Yeah, we'll do so it. Anyway, we got we got to figure that out. We should we'll go. We should out. tell tell Mitch we're taking the day off. We're going to Santa Anita. Yeah, that's dude. Yeah, on a Friday card would be nice, right? <laughs> no. All right, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully see you on Saturday. Thanks, yes. Tony. You got it. Big on McMorty here on the drive through Guys, we'll continue here on the show. If you ever miss a pick, we always recap at the end. Here's our chat pick of the day right now. If you like the 76ers plus 3.5, it's letter A. Heat, lay the 3.5 is B. Under Over 209 is C. Under 209 is D. And right now, uh, in the early voting, it's uh, pretty close here with the Bs and the As here. Uh, looks like we've got, uh, let's see, we're getting some more coming in here right now as we speak. Four on the uh, SoFi, I'm counting four. One, another one on the A here. Uh, we're showing right now four right now on the Heat, two on the Sixers. So keep these votes coming in and uh, we'll continue here on the drive through. Let's see if we have anybody else coming in with any more picks. We'll continue here on the drive through. We're going to come bring in. We were just talking about women's sports and uh, we get a women's college hoop in this light card here tonight, but it's a great, 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 great placement of this game tonight. Bring in Shane right now. We're going to talk a little ladies college hoops tonight. Shane, what's going on? How's it going tonight, Tony? I mean, it's going great. All right, we're going to talk about uh, this big uh, matchup tonight between uh, the UConn women and the Iowa women. Yeah, I uh, um, I really like. I mean, I, I guess I'll say right away. I really like UConn in this game. Um, I have a little bit of concerns about Iowa. They have Caitlin Clark. I know that it's a, it's a talented team, but um, their national championship really was uh, in their last game against uh, against LSU. Um, you know that was the revenge factor. Now I know this is a Final Four game. I know that they still won the national championship, um, but I do have concerns about a letdown spot. Um, and I know Stephen A. Smith might have kind of kind of stole my thunder, but what I'm gonna say about Paige Beckers, but. Um, she grew up about 20 minutes from my hometown. Um, you know, I've been following her. She was a huge star in Minnesota. Um, and if it wasn't for her two, uh, two ACL injuries, um, people, people are right. Uh, there might not be as much talk about Caitlin Clark as Paige Beckers would be, um, would be the woman, would be the woman. I remember when, uh, a couple of years ago, we were hoping that, um, you know, how bad could the links be so we could get Paige Beckers to come back in the WNBA. Um, she's averaging 22 points a game. Um, and I think she has a big game here. I don't trust the Iowa defense. Um, and the, the other thing I think is huge is Gene, uh, Gino Oriema. Um, I think that, you know, the last game, uh, Malky uh, struggled to defend or slow down Clark, which I know is a tall task, but she, she made no adjustments all game. Um, it's not going to be the same thing here with UConn. Um, you know, you're not going to stop Keaton Clark, but I think they slow her down enough. They're going to make someone else beat um, beat them. I don't think it's going to happen. I like UConn on the money line. All right, the play here will be on UConn on the money line here in women's college hoops. Uh, that will be the play here uh, from Shane here. Any thoughts here on the NC State South Carolina game? This is a big line here. Uh, of course, South Carolina with that coach of the year, and of course coming off a with a great record. Yeah, actually, uh, I wrote a, I wrote a pick up on it for Big Dog today. Um, I like South Carolina there. Um, it's been a um, you know it's, it's been a a nice run here for NC State, just like the just like the men. But the South Carolina team won basically everyone they played. Their last game, everyone that played scored. Um, they have balance. I mean, it's, it's the most balanced team in the country for sure. Um, and I just think it's, you know, the, it's going to run out the luck for uh, NC State's going to run out here. I think the South Carolina offense um, is going to be too, it's going to be too much. But don't forget, this, this South Carolina defense giving up 52 points a game. 
Um, I think that's also a key here. I think they're really going to lock down this uh, NC State offense. You know, and it's funny because when you have all the talk about, you know, uh, Caitlin Clark and Reese and LSU, it's been not, not a whole lot coming from South Carolina, right? Not, not a whole lot of talk. A little bit of UConn, right? Because UConn with their history, but uh, South Carolina is really not getting a whole lot of talk right now. Yeah, um, which which if they get through this game, I think it's going to help in the national championship game. You know, they've, they've been tested in the NCAA tournament. They really have not had the pressure that, uh, you know, Iowa, even UConn, LSU, of course, uh, they've been on the opposite side of the bracket and can that can just been kind of able to play play their game. We get a, a South Carolina UConn game. Where do you see the line and who who would you who would you lean toward? Um, I, I mean, my guess is my guess would be South Carolina would be favored. Um, I don't. I mean, really, it should be a pick 'em, and I really don't. I don't know. I mean, it's basically paid. Do you, do you trust Paige Beckers or do you trust the the balance of uh, of South Carolina? Yeah. I think. Uh, in that game, I'd probably I'd probably take the balance of South Carolina um, and the defense. I mean, that 52 points a game is going to be uh, – even if Iowa ends up winning this game and has to face South Carolina in the final, I mean, it's a whole different beast going against that against that South Carolina defense. Yeah, no doubt about this. Now, I asked I asked uh, Big Al this. I'll ask you this because I know you write and you have covered WNBA. We talked about this in the past with WNBA. How do you see – uh, obviously, Clark and Reese going into the WNBA. How do you see this and lifting up the league? Obviously, for eyeballs, but more importantly for our industry, how would you see the with the betting uh, patterns here imp- increase or improve here in the WNBA this season? Because remember, there's not going to be a big layoff, right? They're going to they're going to play right in the summer here. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's bad for the people who have been betting WNBA for a while because um, you've always been able to get kind of good WNBA lines because it, it's it's kind of been a niche. Um, if people have bet it, I think more people will be betting it. But I think in terms of uh, in terms of publicity, I mean, the WNBA's got to figure out how they can market themselves. I mean, all these, you know, I was on the Big Ten Network, ESPN every game. Caitlin Clark's on. I mean, they better not be putting Caitlin Clark on the on the WNBA Twitter page like they had games last year. <laughs> they got to figure out. I mean, even if it's CBS, I mean CBS Sports, I don't know, but they've got to figure out a way to get her. Every game should be televised on national television because if they want to grow the game. It's not going to happen through Twitter and the Facebook page. Right. And at CBS, I mean, that's right. It's CBS Sports Network, Twitter, Facebook. There's another There's another channel out there that uh, would televise it. Uh, oh, God, what was the name of that one? I just, I just think of Murder, She Wrote and the other, uh, the, the Chuck Norris show. <laughs> Ion, oh, Ion, life, Ion. Life. Ion oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would be on Ion because uh, I always think of my mother when I hear that because it's, it's, that's the station she always keeps it on. But now she's going to get upset because they start putting in WNBA in there, ruining her net, her night. But anyway, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Also, I think the player props, right? You're going to see a lot of promotions from these books about Clayton Clark's uh, you know, props and uh, Reese's props and, of course, those boosts and whatnot. I think we'll be seeing a lot of that from these, sport, from these sports books. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more. There's gonna be a lot more offering, a lot more betting on it. But uh, the WNBA has got. I mean, you you said it to um, you said it to Big Al. It's gonna be something where they fade off. You know, if they don't give, if they don't prop Caitlin Clark up and Angel Reese, if, you know, and whoever Paige Becker's even next year when she. I mean, she's coming back for one more year. But they've got it. They've got a two year really window here to prop up the WNBA. And if they don't, it might. Uh, you know, it might just go by the wayside because if, if they can't make it work with. With Caitlin Clark being the, the the franchise or the the star of the league, I mean, I don't. It might be a lost cause because you're not going to get another another person like like that uh, coming along uh, soon. Yeah, there's some sort of dark waivers out there who I call them dark waivers. The guys who like to see only the darkness in sports. That the dark waivers out there are saying that 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 there may be a lot of jealousy with these young stars coming into the league. It may it may hurt. Them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's true. Um, I mean, there definitely will be, and, and, and I mean, another interesting thing you, you brought up the point about uh, um, about the you know the big three. I mean, Dave Portnoy, we talked about Barstool also offered I think ten million. I mean, I mean, Kalen Clark's be making seventy thousand dollars her first year in the WNBA, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, I mean, I don't think she can create her own league, but I mean, basically, if, will she will she actually even focus on the WNBA? Will she uh, you know go to this big three league? Will, he, will she go somewhere else? Um, you know, because I mean, she really, I mean, she can go back to Iowa. I know she can't, but, or she, I mean, she could, but I'm sorry, I'm kind of surprised she can go back to Iowa and would, you know, make another, all those NIL deals. But I guess she can do that in the WNBA. Uh, but yeah, you know, big concerns because uh, Caitlin Clark is going to be coming in trying to steal the, steal the star of the show. But hopefully, I mean, hopefully the, you know, older generations um, of the WNBA like it. I mean, it's be more eyes on them. 
Um, and there's a lot of talented girls right now in the WNBA that just haven't really got the attention that they probably deserve. So um, I think it's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, and I think that's where that jealousy stems from, right? Some of these women that spent their entire careers in the league and they're out of the league now, they just feel the jealousy now that it's getting so much publicity. But, hey, look at yourself in the mirror. Why couldn't you create that? <laughs> Interesting. You know, I mean, that's, that's how I look at it. <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah, definitely. I mean... I mean, it, I mean, it's interesting because it's always been very popular here in Minnesota with the, the likes of, you know, Lindsey Whalen and, and WME champion Simona Gustis. Um, it will be interesting to see how, uh, you know, how, how Indiana can handle that. I mean, because they've been so bad for so long. But, I mean, you got Caitlin Clark, you, uh, and, and it's a, you know, it's a basketball state. So hopefully they can capitalize on it. All right. Uh, Shane here, UConn women plus 124. You say Iowa women. Final four uh, women's college hoops uh, tonight. Uh, this one will be, will uh, be the obviously the second game. Nine, nine I would say nine thirty Eastern. First game, NC State South Carolina will be seven Eastern on ESPN tonight, and I'm sure all eyes will be on these games, mainly especially that UConn Iowa game. That's going to get a lot of attention, like it did before. You got a pick here from Shane on the money line here with UConn. All right, Shane, let's take a look over at Pick Dog here for tonight's action. Of course, we do have. Uh, well, you can bet women's w- women's college hoops. There's lines everywhere. It's been like that all year. Even even we don't talk a lot about college baseball, but anything that's on ESPN Plus, you'll find on uh, or SEC Network, ACC Network, Pac-12 Network. You'll find on the books as well. But anyway, NBA on the board tonight. Baseball action on the ice. What do you have going on over at Pick Dogs Premium? Yeah, I've got a play up there right now with the Pirates. Um, that, that game's already in action. But that's my only MLB game for the day. Um, but I have uh, one NIT play, two NBA plays, thirty nine ninety nine a basketball three pack, um, or long term. You know, we got college basketball this weekend, uh, MLB, NHL still going on. Um, so no better time to. I really love both the games on um, um, the both the the final four games and then of course national championship game. Whoever that that will end up being. So there's no better time to hop on that seven day pass and you get all those um, and more included. That's right, guys. Get over with Shane Mickle over at Pick Dog Premium. No better time than now to get on board with his long term pass, the 3 7 30 hour sports pass. Get all of his premium plays for that time period to select. When you go to his handicapper page, make that purchase. Promo code Pick at Checkout will save you that 15% off. All right, Shane, as always, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great evening. We'll catch up with you again uh, next week. But let everybody know we can find your work in written form over at Pick Dog and Sports Chat. Yeah, I have uh, um, Sports Chat plays Pick Dogs, uh, MLB. Um, NHL and then on, on uh, uh, sports chat place, we've been doing a little more fantasy. So I've got a DraftKings pick six up there for MLB, NBA uh, every day. And I'm looking in the next couple of weeks to add more, uh, um, you know, like long long term DFS um, type of content on there. Um, and then of course, uh, UFC and English Premier League is also on on Pick Dog. So make sure to check out uh, all the written work. That's right. Yeah, check out the written work over at. At Pick Dog, you should say the games are tomorrow Friday. So uh, tonight's the NIT on ESPN. So we got ahead of myself there. <laughs> the games are tomorrow night. Perfect timing anyway for the women's final four. So guys, still we got a picture from from Shane on it. All right, Shane, have yourself a great evening, and we'll catch up with you again next week. All right, sounds good. Have a good weekend, everyone. You got it. Shane Mickle here on the drive to let's continue on, guys. Reminder on the on the uh, chat pick of the day uh, tonight. We're asking you if you like the Sixers or the Heat. 76ers, letter A, plus three and a half. Heat, minus three and a half is B. Over 209 is C. Under 209 is D. Chat pick of the day right now is even near, well, right now we've got the, the Heat now up by one in our in our chat poll. Uh, we do have one here on the over, so keep those picks coming into the chat. Chat pick of the day tonight. Actually, yep, we do add another one here on the heat side looks like we got more coming on the heat right now one two three one two three four five five one yep five to five to three right now with the heat we got another one coming here on the over so we'll keep those votes coming and let's continue here on the drive through it's up next we're going to go ahead and welcome in tony brown you'll catch him over at pick dodge we'll bring tony brown in right now getting set to go here on the next series as tony brown we're going to be looking at player prop nba uh, so let's bring him in right now. I think Tony Brown will be set to go here in just a second. I know he'll be looking to get uh, looking for Aces tickets when they face Indiana next year. <laughs> What's going on, Tony Brown? You already know, man. I'm going to be probably a season ticket holder. I'm going to add it to my resume. There you go. Okay, you can see Angel Reese and uh, Caitlin Carr coming into Vegas. It'll get a lot of attention. Maybe you can flip the tickets. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> go to every game. But that's what they do, right? They flip them. They and, just and buy know, those. We, yeah. Literally, that's what's be going on with the football tickets and stuff. But literally, the uh, night the Aces were the first women's team to ever sell out. They sold out of the season tickets already. Wow, 
That's impressive. Yeah, the day. first ever WNBA team to sell out of season tickets. They were the first to do it, and they've done it. See, well, already the impact they're having on this sport. We'll still see how it rolls here. And, of course, Tony Brown has turned right. full circle, right? He used to laugh about this about a couple of years ago. <laughs> I, I really did. I didn't, I didn't think it was competitive. I thought I could probably beat some of the girls and stuff, but I went to go see the game up close, and uh, those are real professional athletes, man, no doubt about it. Yep, no doubt about that. All right, so here we go to tonight with Tony Brown. Sixers and Heat, this is our chat pick of the game, but Tony Brown's been looking at this one a little differently. Heat laying three, total 211, but you got some a player prop on deck here. Yeah, man, I didn't want to get stuck in my old ways. I know everybody's into this stuff now with all the DraftKings and all these fantasy stuff. Like, a lot of people uh, are betting on not the side in total anymore. They like the props, and so I, I can give you one of the best props that I can think of in this one, and that's Joel Embiid to have a double-double. It's only minus 130, so it's right there in our price range. And uh, you know he's going to get 10 points. So we're literally just banking on if the guy can grab 10 rebounds tonight. And I, against a small Miami lineup, I think he's absolutely going to feast inside. Uh, they don't have a true center. They have Bam Adebayo. And, I mean, I hate to call a 6'9", six, 6'10", six, guy small, but <laughs> compared to 7 foot 280 Joel Embiid, he's small. And so uh, Joel Embiid already got his win and got a game under his belt in the last game. I think this game, he's fully ready. You know what I mean? Got his court legs under him and everything. And I think he has a, a huge game against a smaller Miami team. And 10 points and 10 boards should be a breeze. And uh, at the minus 130 price, it's too good to pass up. So we won't. All right, just to update the injury status, he has, Embiid has been upgraded. Uh, and it looks like he's now expected to play. Of course, you're going to see Embiid now in the injury release every night. Every night now, for, I think, is where you're going to come down. It's going to be kind of like a LeBron Davis, and maybe because of his injury history and because of the time of the year. Maxi has also been upgraded here uh, to probable. So it looks like both Maxi and Embiid uh, are going to be in the lineup. Likely to play as Maxi, but we're still seeing some respect there on, with the Heat here, mainly on current form. But this is all about Embiid getting a double double. And that's how Tony Brown looks at it here. Of course, so the Heat will pretty much get healthier themselves with just Hero out for Miami. Yeah, the Heat were, and then uh, that chat pick of the day, they were dead on it when I were on here on Tuesday. They were all over the Heat. Like, I think it was like 15 to 1 by the time my segment went off. And so, and they absolutely won that game outright. So, yeah, the Heat have looked pretty good, uh, pretty fairly healthy besides Tyler Hero, but he's kind of like uh, Ben Simmons. Tyler, when is he not on the uh, injured list? You know what I mean? Like, Hero's always in and out. So they've just been rolling with the team they got, and people forget they're just a, a year removed from the championship. You know what I mean? It was them versus Denver. How do you see the uh, East falling? Jimmy yeah, Jerry Butler huh? getting healthy. How do, how do you see the – some people are saying Miami, keep an eye on Miami because they're starting to run into form. They might give Boston the toughest match of all if it becomes one versus eight here if Miami becomes the AC. They're thinking that that, that might be the, the biggest the biggest series. Right. And see, it's like basketball is a team sport. We all know that. It's five people on the team. But it's one of the only team sports where one man can just literally change things. Like, you know what I mean? Shaq came to the Lakers and that changed everything. Like one superstar player can change a franchise. Jimmy Butler is one of the biggest dogs in the NBA. Like, I don't care what team he's on, who he's going against, what the all-star stats is. You don't want no parts of Jimmy Butler. And then, you know, they don't call him Jimmy Buckets for a reason. Like, he, he gets buckets. That guy is, you don't want to play Miami. Pat Riley is running the organization. Eric Spolcher is the championship coach. They, they got the formula down. They've been to the championship. They're tried and tested in Boston. You know, they, they got Doc Rivers. I hate to say it. So, <laughs> nothing's a lock over there. And, uh... Miami would definitely give them a run for their money if they happen to play them in the finals. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to call a doc situation the Clippers jinx. <laughs> That's what it is. Anyone that coaches the Clippers is jinx for good. <laughs> Probably. I mean, the Clippers, I've been trying to tell people they just don't believe me because I'm a Laker fan, but the Clippers are the San Diego Chargers, the L.A. Chargers. They're, they're just, they can't win. They can't win at all. They have good teams. They get players in place. The draft goes swell for them and stuff, but just when it counts, they'll never win anything. No, well, they won't win indeed there. Uh, we got uh, Tony Brown here on a Joel and B double double here at minus uh, 133. This one here tonight, 730 Eastern time. Also our chat pick of the day. All right, uh, Tony Brown, let's take a look over at pick doctrine for tonight's action. Of course, we do have a pretty good card from the NBA tonight <clears> up <throat> there. Uh, we also have action on the ISA where we know Tony Brown has historically done well. He's been off to a flying start here in Major League Baseball, 891 units of profit. NIT on the board tonight. What do you have going over at Pick Dogs Premium? 
Yeah, we got a couple games up tonight. I got six plays. I got uh, one play tonight in the NBA. It's the late night play, the last play of the day, but I did save my left best for last. That's a 10 p.m. Eastern start, so you can jump on that for only $19. And then I have my triple play with my MLB, NHL, and NBA. You know what I mean? All three leagues in play tonight, so we went all in on those. Grab them individually always or grab them in the triple play for only $35, which the plays are $25 each, so getting three for 35 is almost buy one, get two free. I mean, if you're serious about making some money, you can't afford not to grab those little packs. That's right, guys. Get on board here with Tony Brown over at Pick.com. Great start in baseball, as you can see. 891 news of profit for 2024. Of course, uh, use that promo code PICK at checkout. You'll save that 15% off. One year all sports pass as well for those of you interested in, because Tony Brown is year-round. and A lot of baseball still coming up, Tony Brown. Yeah, plenty of baseball. It's the whole baseball season. We're already up 800 units, so you might as well grab that MLB season pass. Then if you're going to stick around for the basketball playoffs and the hockey playoffs and then the NFL and then college and all that, you can get the VIP year pass. You don't have to keep paying. There's no upselling. You get playoffs, championship games, all the stuff's included. Every single pick I release for an entire year for, three, for 365 days for just one low price. That's right, guys. Use the promo code PICK to save nearly $300 on Tony Brown's One Year All Sports Pass. All right, Tony, as always, great having your show. Continue that great success here, and we'll catch up with you again next week. All right, I always appreciate being here, and I'll see you guys next week. See you next week, indeed. Uh, Tony Brown here on The Drive. We will continue on the show. Let's go back to the chat pick of the day. Uh, right now, we're asking you. Your, it's your pick. You make the pick here. Uh, 76 in heat. If you like the 76 or the plus 3.5 is letter A. Heat plus minus 3.5 is letter B. Over 209 is C. Under 209 is D. Right now it's a 5 3. Right now we got people on the heat. So that so far is the chat pick of the day. Heat on the lead. We'll recap this at the end. So get those picks loaded into the system, guys, uh, in, in, in our chat system. We just got Billy Bats comes in with the Sixers plus 3.5. Like, like in the news there on Embiid. So uh, uh, another one coming in here from letter A here. Uh, we're getting so oh, we're getting a lot more coming in right now. We got a C in here right now. We got a B, two B's, and an A. So right now it is the Heat uh, hold barely holding off the Sixers here. We're starting to see some B's coming in here on on the chat. So guys, keep those chat picks coming in. We'll recap at the end of the day. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. We're going to go to the next capper up is going to be Mills. Some in. And uh, NBA action here from Mills. Catch him over over on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel. Content contributor over at Pick Dogs. We'll bring in Mills right now. I think we'll set to go here in just a second here. Looking at his team, his Kings, his Kings are in action. His Kings going to share some real estate there. Not real estate, but share the city with the with the uh, Oakland A's. I wonder if they're going to call them the Sacramento A's. What's going on, Mills? What's happening? What's going on, Tony? How's everybody doing today? There's, there's room for two teams in Sac. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I guess so. I mean, you know, we're, we're extended to them. We don't got enough going on out there with the basketball game, so we definitely need some more people to show up. So come on over at Oakland. All right, come on over, Oakland. We'll take them. We'll adopt, adopt them, the Oakland Athletics, for <laughs> foster, foster care for this Oakland team. All right, here we go. Uh, Mills will be looking at this Kings and Knicks game. We know the Kings are near and dear to his heart, uh, but, man, they took a blow with that monk injury. But we'll see if they can overcome it here. Uh, Knicks three and a half total two eleven and a half. Yeah, man, this one. I mean, if you looked at both the teams right now uh, in the last five games, you would think the records would probably be on the opposite. Uh, I mean, the Kings right now are kind of hot. You know, six and four out their last ten games. Uh, only lost to the Dallas Mavericks twice, and the Knicks. I mean, they're zero and three in their last three games. You know, one of those games they did lose to OKC by one point in a heartbreaking, uh, you know, game, but. When it comes down to it, you know, we're here to make money. And uh, it ain't about betting with your heart. It's about betting with money and try to be smart. I'm looking at the New York Knicks in this spot on the money line in here. They're 1-0 against the Sacramento Kings already. They played this year. Uh, in that game, I think they won by like five points or seven. But in that game, that boy Jalen Brunson, he went for like 42 points on him. Um, I'm not going to believe too much of the the hype of Julius Randle's missing out the game. So, you know, they're going to be devastated now for playoffs. Well, guess what, folks? He's been missing for a long time. And you know what? Even when he's playing, sometimes he's out there missing, too. The New York Knicks are 24th. <laughs> New York Knicks are 24th. Yeah, I mean, 
hey, just just think about it. You know, he doesn't show up when in, in the playoffs at all. You know, and I think they really regret that R.J. Barrett trade right now. That boy's been putting up points over there in Toronto. Uh, O.G. Anobi's good and all, but I don't think that's a guy that can give you 27 points in a game and then maybe give you another 22. All right, cool. We ain't here for that. I like the New York Knicks in this spot, man. The reason why, too, they're averaging 13 three-pointers per game. The Sacramento Kings, high three-pointer team, but they're only averaging 14. Uh, you know, that's only one more three-pointer. Like Tony said in the uh, intro, Malik Monk is gone. Uh, 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 Herder is gone, too, as well. Uh, their most consistent player in the last five games has been Keegan Murray. Darian Fox hasn't had a good month. Um, DeMontis Sabonis has been as advertised, putting up about 19 points per game. But I like the Knicks in this spot, man. Devyshenko, he's been coming out balling, averaging 15 points in the last 10 games, um, showing that, you know, He's actually worked out contract that they offered him to. Another thing that I like in this one, I, I, I like a few player props to get you on top in here as well, but I think the way to go is with the New York Knicks. I don't think they're going on an 0-4 losing streak uh, to the to the Kings. All right, Mills here on the Knicks. <clears throat> Money line here against the Kings. Of course, the Knicks having to win because, remember, everyone's trying to jockey for that playoff position. Home court does mean something for New York because they got that – you know, that Mass Square Garden, uh, you know, you, you get the, the people come out and, and you do see the Knicks react to that home crowd. Man, you hit it on point, man. That home crowd is something real. At home, they're defending uh, and holding opponents to shooting at a 46% uh, and holding teams to about averaging only 104 points per game. That's as advertised, folks. Uh, you haven't seen numbers like that uh, this year besides Minnesota Timberwolves. And I think Orlando Magic had a little run earlier on this uh, season. But, yeah, man, when they play at home, they're, they're, they're as advertised. On the road, they haven't been. Um, in their last five games, they've been on the road more than they've been at home. Of course, uh, that, that crowd gets them lighted up. And Jalen Brunson is just – he's just him. Like, I never knew that guy was that good, man. Like, from Villanova to being the backup at Dallas, you know, I just kept saying, like, yeah, right, yeah, right. Guess what? They're motherfucking right, man. And it took me about these two years to finally give him the credit that he deserves, but he's a top-tier player, finally making the all-star game. He's usually a guy that goes over his assist prop, too. And when you're looking at the Sacramento Kings, they're kind of like a trendy team. They can be up in the game and then lose by 13. They can be down in the game and then win by three. Uh, so, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm not begging with my heart in this one. They need this game, too, as well. I think they're in the eighth spot. But Mike Brown coaching compared to Tom Thibodeau on the other side, man, we're going to have offense versus defense. And when it comes down to it, a better defense usually wins those games. So I'm taking the Knicks in this spot. You know what it shows? What, what I see with the Kings, when they face a team that locks down with them, contests their shots, they have trouble. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, exactly. That uh, that makes a lot of sense. The only thing that I can see in this one is DeMonte Sabonis. I think it's going to be a mismatch in anybody he's going up against. But besides that, yeah, man, they could lock up. That boy Josh Hart. Man, he's been solid on D. Uh, Miles McBride, he's been putting up points too, and that's the thing. You got you got new guys popping up for the Knicks that's contributing. They're not used to the Miles McBride. They're not used to the Josh Hart's being like main contributors on the team, you know. And they're doing that. Well, now. that's because of the coach, right? The coach had to change his ways because he had a reputation not playing the young guys, right? Going not going long in the rotation. That and also he doesn't like to go, I think, deeper than like seven or eight in a game, yeah. you know. So it's like he's going to play those same consistent players, you know. And a lot of those ones, like you said, are the younger ones that's not getting those minutes yet. And they're getting those because of the injuries that happen. I mean, the New York Knicks are without Mitchell Robinson, the starting center. He's trash anyway. Julius Randle, the power forward. And, you know, OG Anobi, he's in and out the lineup. So, I mean, yeah, they're dealing with a lot of stuff over there. And I think Bogdan, uh, Bogdanovich, the new guy that they got from the Pistons, he still hasn't showed everybody who he was before. I think once he starts to show up in ball, they're going to be like, okay, man, this this Knicks team can still go uh, and make some noise in the playoffs. And the Eastern Conference, Eastern Conference, all you got to do is show up. That's all you got to do, and you're going to make the playoffs. You don't even got to be good. You just got to show up. Show up. All right. Uh, Mills here on the Knicks. Money line, minus 162 against the Kings tonight, minus 156. Do your line shot and get the best numbers. All right, Mills, content contributor at Pick Dogs. Let everybody know uh, what you got going on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel. We always see your, your videos, uh, your UFC, UFC rundown, as well as uh, your prop shop. 
Yeah, man. So you check it out daily. The uh, MLB uh, and NBA and NHL prop shop goes on here. Uh, we go over everything that the categories give us in the sports chat place. We're going over points, rebounds. We're letting you know what's hitting at a 60%, 80% clip. We're giving out double doubles that's hitting at a good percentage, too. We're giving out trifecta spots. Uh, Luka Donich over his points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, we were smashing that at a time. I'm, I'm on it today. I like that prop. Uh, besides that, UFC Bet With Me series that we bring out every uh, week. It comes out Wednesdays and Thursdays out there. Went over all the cards out there, 12 fights on them. Gave you guys my best picks, my predictions, and a parlay. Uh, and besides that, we got the UFC tier videos coming out. So those, I go over all the hottest fighters, the top five in each division, and let you guys know, you know, in a tier list ranking one to five, who's the best that's coming out. We already went over the lightweights uh, with uh, Islam Makachev being number one in that one, the 155 division. This week, we're working on the heavyweights. So we're going to be talking about the John Jones and all those fighters like that. So check out what we got doing, what we got going over here on the channel. That's right, guys. Like, subscribe, set notifications. So when Mills drops those videos, you get them right away. All right, Mills, as always, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great evening, and we'll catch up with you again next week. All right, Tony. Have a good night. As well, Mills Young here on the drive. Two guys, if you missed a pick, we'll recap near the end of the show. Chat pick of the day, we'll give you an update on that here in just a second, guys, here, as we'll continue here on the show. Uh, we want a chat update here. Here we go. Sixers plus three and a half is letter A. Heat laid three and a half is B. Over 209 is C. Under 209 is D. So keep those picks coming in right now. It's pretty close here as we've got by one vote here the Heat minus three and a half. And we'll, we, we'll close this at the end of the show. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Up next, we got uh, Wayne Scott. Catch him over at Pick Dodge Print. We'll bring Wayne in right now. Ready to roll here with some NBA covers. We'll do a rundown as well. Wayne, what's happening? What's going on, Tony T? What's going on, Pick Dog family? Hope y'all doing good out there today. Everything's going well. We're going to go ahead and move the chains here because I know you're going to be looking at this one tonight here as we've got these uh, LA Clippers, man, who've just been uh, slipping. You're going to have to call them the slippers because this team, hot, and then just turn cold. All, all, all of a sudden, they just push the button. They turn cold. But anyway, the Nuggets three and a half on the road. Total two twenty one. Yeah, um, Clippers a star studded team, star power team. They uh, when they uh, acquire Harden, they struggle, lost six or seven back, and then they caught fire. As Tony just mentioned, the Clippers right now are on a struggle bus. I'm not hopping on this bus with them. I'm going to be um, off the bus watching this bus from the Denver side. We'll be on Denver in this one. Denver 7-3 in their last 10. Clippers 5-5 five and five in their last 10. But even in the five wins, they haven't played uh, people. Two of those wins were against Portland. What concerns me is the Clippers playing at home. They are 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Denver will be working with revenge as they lost to the Clippers at the Clippers December 6th, which was a while ago, but I know they'll still have that on their mind. On their mind. Outside of that loss uh, to the Clippers, they've really spanked the Clippers going 8-2 and two in their last 10. They've been owning the Clippers. Let's talk about recent basketball. Recent basketball, the Nuggets are playing the much better offense. Recent basketball, Nuggets surprisingly are playing the better defensive basketball. Clippers haven't been home um, underdogs much, but the two times they were home underdogs, they are 0-2 on the season. I like the Nuggets uh, have a size advantage. I like the Nuggets have, a, a, to me, a better bench. It's a younger bench, but these guys come in, um, they get stuff done. Young team, athletic, and they should uh, give the Clippers all they can handle. Only four points. I lay that all day with the Denver Nuggets as well as they've been playing recently. All right, Wayne says the Nuggets here. Find the three and a half. There's a lot of three and a half. You can actually grade Wayne on three and a half because there's more three and a halfs out there in the marketplace. So that'll be the play here from Wayne here. Yeah, hard to argue this. Matter of fact, the Clippers, you mentioned how bad the Clippers have been at home. Uh, I looked at the, I looked this up here at home with the Clippers since the All-Star break. That's kind of where I like to drop the pin this time of the year is the All-Star break. The Clippers at home are last in defensive efficiency, allowing 124 points per 100 possessions, a minus six net rating. And believe it or not, Denver, since the All-Star break, is kind of changing their profile of being a so-so road team. They've actually shown much improvement since the break on the road. 
Yeah, and they're doing this by actually playing defense. We know Denver can play offense. We've seen what they just did to a, a Cleveland team that's known for defense. I, I think they beat them by about 20-plus points. But um, the Nuggets are actually playing defense. They're holding a lot of teams to um, uh, at least under, let me see, as of recently about under 105. So we, we're used to the Nuggets giving up a lot more points. And um, it's that time, uh, Tony. It's, uh, it's about playoff time. Denver Nuggets championship team, championship pedigree team. Not only do you have a strong starting lineup, but this bench comes in and plays spectacular. Um, like as Tony just mentioned, since the All Star break, the Clippers have been a falling knife. And against the Nuggets team is not a team I'm going to be trying to catch them just because they're at home. Nuggets losing um, to the Clippers early in the season is another thing that uh, I like. I know they'll uh, want some vengeance, some get back. And um, I just think this is a, a the better spot for the Nuggets, and the Nuggets just the better team. All right, Wayne here on the Nuggets slay the four here against the Clippers. This one tonight here, 10 Eastern time. You know we're gonna talk about doing a rundown. The only game that we didn't cover was well, we did cover, but we didn't we didn't cover spread wise. So we'll go ahead and do a bit of a rundown. Go back to this game because uh, we got this covered, we got that covered, that wasn't covered. This one was actually this is going to be covered a little later. This one wasn't covered spread or total wise. So we have. Uh, 76 Heat, the chat pick of the day here. Heat lane three, the total 211 and a half. What did the chat end up uh, going with yesterday? Was it uh, Phoenix or um, they had did the they points. take the other side? Okay, okay, yeah. Um, today I'm going to be taking the Sixers though, man. Um, I, I feel like this is an evenly matched game, so points in our back pocket will help. I actually think the Sixers have a good chance to win this one money line. Uh, and B will be... Um, playing in this one uh it was missing somebody that kind of threw me i think it was kelly Oubre. No, no 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 somebody was missing for the um 76ers it kind of uh well i didn't well, we like Bono, but Covington, regard, harris and melton harris there we go tobias harris. i would like to see tobias harris in there but um even without him man i, I just think the sixers have some catching up to do uh we know the heat they um they're just, they're just not a regular season team yeah they uh pull together some regular season wins enough to get to the postseason but um i like the sixers here in this spot uh, on the road um not loving this um uh, this heat team uh currently Sixers. both of these teams known for defense Sixers have been playing a uh, good defense lately but they also have been bringing the offense you're giving me the Sixers team with mb in the lineup with three points i'm gonna have to take that all day long here all right uh, we got uh there we go with wayne here with his uh, uh with his rundown here from the nba we'll have coverage here on the uh, atlanta game here in a little bit uh, just uh there we'll have coverage in just a little second. I'm watching some baseball right now. I'm seeing a lot of these sinker ballers. It's interesting, Wayne, here this time of the year, especially in these cold weather cities. They allow these pitchers to go to their mouth. And I'm seeing a lot of downward movement in some of these sinker ballers' pitchers. I mean, I've seen a lot of you don't see this movement in the summer, but they're, they're allowing these pitchers to go to their mouth here. Okay. All right. Shh. Hey Tony, uh, <laughs> that ain't my forte as far as uh, uh that that sinker ball knowing what it's uh, supposed to do with this weather. But hey, all I'm gonna say to it though, if it's working, hey, I mean, hey, it's what it is. It's what it is. Yeah, it's just interesting to see them just watching. You no, know, right now the hitting's been down early to start the season, especially a lot of these cold weather cities. And uh, man, I'm seeing these these move the ball movement really going down here. Uh, and so with some of these sinker ballers, but uh, we'll see how it rolls here. Unfortunately, a lot of, of course, in these in these cold weather conditions, they can go to their mouth. That is that is the rule this time of the year. So uh, just keep an eye on that. All right. Wow, look at that movement Sands has on his pitch, man. <laughs> it's just incredible right now. I don't know what they're doing out there. All right. Uh, we got the play there from Wayne Wayne. Let's take a look over at Pick Dodge Prime. Of course, we got NBA on the board tonight, NHL as well. Uh, one from baseball, NIT finals. Great results over the last seven days. What do you have going on over at Pick Dodge Prime? Yeah, I had two baseball plays. They're currently going, looking decent in them so far. Hopefully those uh, uh, those come through for me. And um, three in the NBA and one in the NIT. I have a, a three-pack for the NBA coming off a of 4-0 NBA day. Just looking to continue the momentum and uh, crush the NBA today and cash these tickets. If you guys want those bets, no best bet, just that three-pack, you head over to the site and grab that. Or you can get my three-day, seven-day, 30-day pass. It will get you every bet that I drop immediately so you can beat the lines and you can cash these tickets with me. 
That's right, Cash Jacobs and Wayne Scott over at Pick Doctor. You see the great results over the last seven days. No better time now to get on board with those long term pass, three, seven, or 30 all sports pass. Get all Wayne's premium plays for that time period. Select when you go to his handicapper page, make that purchase. Remember that one month pass gets you the remainder of the NBA regular season. We get you as well into the play in round, first round of the playoffs, get into the second round. And remember, 30 days will be May, May the 3rd. So we'll be halfway through the playoffs by then, right? Because we finish them in, 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 in June. So no better time than now to get that 30 day pass. Pick is a promo code. Save that 15% off. Right, Wayne, as always. Great having so, you show. Go ahead. Uh, educate me real quick. When you say go to the mouth and they're not dead, so they, they can't put their hand by their mouth? Uh, oh, they can. Even, they can. Even if it's cold yeah, they, or, can, they can go okay. to them. They can. You know, so they like they just, yeah, okay. that's, that's, they're able to do that in this cold weather, in the, in cold weather. And so uh, okay. that's, that's, okay. that's all I'm saying is, is I'm, I'm, I'm seeing them do this and I'm looking at these pitch, all the movement on the ball here. I'm looking at some of these games and like, wait. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just it just seems interesting what's going on with baseball uh, right now especially you have two different rules set of rules you have your set of rules in the in these cold months in april may but when we get in the summer then they get really picky on what these pitchers can do so uh just keep mm -hmm. an eye on what's up well because of cold weather they can i can blow my hand or who knows what's going on in there right and, and they're able mm -hmm. to help them get the grip on the baseball batters don't mind that because they, they can say well i'm, I'm not going to get beaten by these guys they help the better grip they have the safer i feel at the plate so it kind of goes it's it's, it's uh, kind of one of those interesting situations there in baseball but anyway so you think you think something funny could I, possibly I, be going on i just think if there's gonna be funny business it's gonna happen in april and may that's that's what i think okay that, because that, that's pitchers right. month right here. When it's cold in these cold weather cities, uh, it's pitchers month. These are pitchers months here because it's hard to hit in the cold weather. So mm -hmm. that's what I, that's just an observation I'm making just from the eye test here. Uh, but because uh, I see a lot of it going on right now in these cold weather cities, and it's like, all right, <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of movement on these balls. I'm just <laughs> just like, all right, I guess that's I guess that's the April and May way of doing it, things. So. That's that's what I'm just. I keep observing. an eye on that, man. I'm yeah. gonna see when we warm up if uh if that control issue is uh is something or oh, not. Yeah. But oh, uh, no. like you said, I know these batters don't mind though. Don't nobody want to get hit by a ball in the cold. So yeah, they let them do it in the cold weather, but not in the warm weather. That's the hitters months. So we get into mm -hmm. May, June, July, August, September. That's hitters months right there. So. uh Right, right now, pitchers have a bit of an advantage here because of these rules. But anyway, let's check it out more. All right, Wayne. Let everybody know about the boxing series. Those will be coming up. Yes, sir. We have um, some excellent boxing cards, too. As I uh, mentioned, April 20th, we have Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. A lot of good fights in May. Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Jamie Mugia. The heavyweight bout that got pushed back will be in May between Uskis and Tyson Fury. And um, Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall in May. So we got a lot of um, May super fights coming up. Great lines on some of these fights, so I'll definitely be dropping them videos for you guys on Pick Dogs um, YouTube. You guys subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. It'll pop up and you'll get it first. That's right, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit those notifications so when Wayne drops these videos, you get them right away. All right, Wayne, have a great night, and we'll catch up with you again next week. Yes, sir. Appreciate you for having me, Tony T. I'll see you guys this weekend. Good luck with all your best tonight. As well, Wayne Scott here on the drive. So, you guys, you can catch Wayne on the weekend shows. He appears Saturday or Sunday. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and look him up. All right, chat pick of the day. We're winding this one down here at 76ers plus three and a half is letter A. Heat, letter three and a half is B. Over 209 is C. Under 209 is D. Keep these picks coming because it's a very close vote today. As that last check, it was seven on the Heat, six on the uh, Sixers, three going over the total. So, over the total with, with the. With the uh, bigger uh, majority here right now but uh keep these votes coming in and we will uh recap at the end of the show let's get to this actually near the recap let's get to the recap here I'm, and then we'll get to my pick and then we'll close out the chat pick of the day so let's continue here on the drive through we'll get to the repack re recap you'll get my pick and then we will ask for you for your show pick of the day as well so let's get that if you already if you already voted on the chat pick of the day put your show pick into the chat right now and read it off at the end. All right, here's the recap we had today. Bruins plus 135 against Hurricanes with Alex. Al McMorty Rockets plus three and a half against the Warriors. Shane was on UConn women plus 124 money line against Iowa women. That's tomorrow's uh, uh, final four from women's college hoops. Tony Brown on Joel and B double double minus 133. Mills here, Knicks money line minus 162 against the Kings. Wayne was on the Nuggets, laid the four against the Clippers. I'll be on Hawks Mavericks under 228. The one I like the most here will be on 
Uh, I'm going to go Big Al McMorty here on the Houston Rockets. This is their spot here against the Warriors. All right, uh, let's get to Of course, you guys know the pick that I'm going to be on here as we uh, – Transition to my pick. It's going to definitely be here on Hawks Mavericks under 230. Let's make sure. Well, let's get to the graphic up here. Oh, it's gone down even more under 226 and a half. So we're going to have to. Well, actually, there's 227. So great to be on the 227 here. What we've seen in the improvement we've seen here has been uh, with the uh, Mavericks defense of late. And uh, in this spot, we're going to be looking here at the under. Look at the past five games. The Mavericks, they sit fifth in defensive efficiency, holding teams 105 points per 100 possessions. And of course, the Hawks over this period allowing 113 per 100 possessions. And of course, over that five game period, Mavericks holding teams a 42% shooting. They've gone under a 9 of 11. I think the offense will be impacted by Atlanta as they are the team in the back to back. So we go under here, under 237 now in this game. All right, uh, uh, let's continue here on the drive. So, guys, we're going to close out this chat pick. They've got the final votes in, and it's going to be here. The chat pick day is going to be here on, let's see here, we'll put the pick up here for you guys. It will be here on the Heat laying the three and a half. That is, the, we just closed the voting on it. And that will be it for now. I just want to make sure we got those in. We got those in here. Two, three, four. Yep, chat pick of the day is closed. Oh, we closed it up. There we go. So that's the that's the final there. Heat minus three and a half, the chat pick of the day. All right, let's... Uh, that's going to do it here for this edition here of the drive through So now, guys, put your show pick into the chat. Your show pick into the chat, and we'll read it off here uh, as we close. That'll do it for this edition of the drive through Be sure to tune in tomorrow live here at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring your cappers and big dogs and sports chat place. They'll get with their place for you in real time. Remember to always get started with that morning show. We are live here, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time here on, on, the, uh, on, on tomorrow, on Friday. And, of course, we've got our... Uh, morning show of course mitch's seven picks in five minutes his betting tool show his roundtable discussions with professionals also jay's jam session nba chris around the league nhl robin zawaki a to z coverage nhl pick from every game on the board from the nhl of course we also have big al mcbill al morty all access video costi with sharp training plays also coming in with sharp, sharp contrarian plays by brian biller against the public betting with uh, dana lane college basketball breakdown here from and baseball breakdowns as well from uh, Ron Romanelli. And of course, don't forget the uh, prop videos here from uh, Mills, his UFC rundown shorts from both Brad and of course, uh, Jovan. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, set those notifications, be live to get those plays. All right, here are the show picks coming in right now from you guys. We got Blake on the Nuggets, laying the three and a half. Also, Blake likes the White Sox money line plus the one and a half runs. That's from Blake here. Uh, let me see what else we have coming in here. Ramon likes UConn with Shane on that uh, final four pick money line play there. Let's see what else we have coming in. So get those get those show picks in right now so we can go ahead and you guys can vote on them here. Let's see what we got here. What else we got? Seton Hall money line from David Klimmer. I like that pick there. Seton Hall money line. J-Man on the Mavs laying the 11 and a half. Seton Hall money line with Chris White Thunder. Like these Seton Hall picks coming in. Chris White Thunder's been good to us here, liking the seat. No, I'm kind of liking it too. Look at the defense for Indiana State the past five games. They're giving up 50% from three, about 49% from the field. I think uh, Seton Hall might just be a little too big for them here. All right, Marlon Stink says Rob, Rob Lo, Iowa em, Emblert, Englert. I, like they, Cardinals were beating up at, uh, at last check. We'll see how that game is, but they were beating them pretty good here. But uh, there we go. Last call for your show picks, guys. Uh, let's see here. I'm with uh, J-Man. Everybody on Seton Hall there. Yep, he's on Seton Hall. All right, that's going to do it, J-Man, with the Seton Hall pick. That's going to do it, guys. Be sure to tune in tomorrow live. We'll be back here live here at 6 p.m. Eastern time. What would a big NBA card tomorrow? 12 games on the board from the NBA, Women's Final Four, I action on the ice, and a 13-game card from Major League Baseball. I think there's a one-day game, I think, but we'll be we'll have a lot of action. Maybe they'll build more than that, but we'll have a lot of stuff for you in prime time. All right, that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and bring in our